Ahoy, my mates. Good evening, good evening, passengers. All aboard. I am Captain Teresha and will be sailing you all this evening to Papa India. Welcome aboard Mike Charlie 4. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I forgot that you're not familiar with the sea lingo. Papa India is Patmos Island. And Mike Charlie is Maloney Church. All joining us through the ship's radar, please type ahoy in the chat. Please note, in case of emergency, hold on to your life jackets, the Bible. And to our first time passengers, have no fear, our regular passengers will surely share with you if need be. If you want to use the heads, exit starboard. I'm sorry again. If you would like to use the toilets, use the door to your right. Emergency exits are on starboard and port or stern. Listen to your captain at all times. Before we set sail, please turn your eyes to the bow as sailor Joyce Lang Reed prays to protect us on our journey, followed by some Holy Ghost powered moving sea mates. Good evening to all. Let us stand for prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you at this time because you have given us the invitation to come. We thank you, God, for your love, your mercies, and your goodness towards us. I ask you, God, in whatever way I fail you, that you will forgive me, that you will cleanse, that you will wash in your precious blood and make me whiter than snow. Lord, I pray, oh God, that as we go through this sailing tonight, dear God, that you will take charge, oh Father. Take the wheel, dear Lord. Control everything that is said and done here, dear Father. May it be to your praise, name, honor, and glory. I pray, oh God, that as we visit this island, dear Lord, and the future, you know, Proclaim your word, O oh God. I pray, dear Father, that you will give him the strength. Help him, O oh God, that he will speak with power and with clarity because it would have come from on high. Take charge, O oh God. Continue to cover each and every one. Give us receptive hearts, O oh God, as we listen to your word tonight, dear Father. I thank you for what you have done and I thank you for what you will continue to do. Take charge of this proceeding. Bless each and every heart, each and every family represented here tonight. Continue to be with us, O oh Father. And when we leave this place, help us to, get, to know and that we have been with Jesus and that we'll continue to come from night to night. I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Good evening, good evening. We are about to have some Holy Ghost music this evening. We invite you to join with us as we start with hymn number 246. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. And you online, we want to hear you singing from here in the church, okay? Holy, sorry, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Yeah, baby, my. 
There's no other name like Jesus. There's no other name like Jesus. This the dearest name we know. It's the angels' joy in heaven. It's the Christian's joy below. Sweet name, dear name. There's no other name like Jesus. Sweet name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. There's no other name like Jesus. When the heart with grief is sad, there's no other name like Jesus. When the heart is free and glad. Sweet name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. Sweet name, sweet name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. It's the hope that I shall see him when in glory he appears. To hear his welcome, that my fainting spirit shares. Sweet name, sweet name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. Sweet name, sweet name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. If he wills that I should leave in his vineyard, he by thee. It is well if only Jesus blesses all I do or say. Deep name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. Sweet name, dear name, there's no other name like Jesus. If the will that that cold finger touch my feeble mortal plane, it is well if only Jesus is my dying just and stay. Jesus. 
Jesus. Sweet name, sweet name. Can him, there's no other name like Jesus. And we know that name is it's such a sweet name. And you know, there's a story to tell. We are here to hear the story, aren't we? That story of salvation. Of Jesus. So we're going to go to him, number 152. Tell me the story of Jesus right on my heart everywhere. Tell me the story of Jesus right on my heart everywhere. The story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Tell of the angels in chorus, sang as they welcomed his birth. Glory to God in the highest, peace and good tidings to us. supposed to do the part that Charlene just did, which was to call out the songs. I only remembered when, I, when she started doing it. So I will do her part. Alright? So at this time we are going to put away the hymn book and we are going to sing chorus. Choruses that she will lead out in. Okay? We're going to start with what a mighty God we serve. Isn't he a mighty God? Amen. Okay, no, no, we're going to try that one more time. Isn't he a mighty God? Yes, he is. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. What a mighty God we serve. Put your hands together. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before oh, him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God 
what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. The light of shining in glory, I see that light of Amen. I see the light of Hallelujah. Anyhow, never, 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 Me down when my troubles come away. Hold my breath and see. Hallelujah, anyhow. If you want to see the glory of the Lord, why, why don't, don't you praise Him? Lift up your hands and praise Him. If you want to see the glory of the Lord, why don't you lift up your hands? Your hands, your hands and praise the Lord. Why would you praise, praise Him in the morning? Praise Him in the time. Praise Him in the evening. Why don't you praise Him all the day long? Lift up your hands and praise the Lord. If you want to see the glory of the Lord, why don't you praise Him? Jesus 
living for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wow, that kind of turbulence never makes you sick in this sea of life. At this point in time, we want to recognize some, some um, passengers that connect into the radar. Ahoy to Annette, Susanna, Wendy, and Winetta. And a special welcome to a passenger that we have here, Brother Carlton James. Welcome with us on this journey. Now, when the ship docks in Papa, I mean Patmos Island, John will be talking to us about Jesus being in our vessel and his love and sacrifice for us. Tomorrow, we're not flying or sailing, you know, but we will be soaking. Yes, soaking up all that we have been learning at home to return to the island on Wednesday at 6.15 p.m. to hear about Jesus' judgment and protection. Let us continue to enjoy the sea breeze on our faces as sailor, a fisher home, what John, joins me at the helm. Hold on to your life jackets as we are almost ready to dock. Drop the anchor. Good evening, saints of God. Aren't you happy for the blood? The blood that gives us strength from day to day. It will what? Never what? Lose its power. So I'm going to sing a song that will remind us of what the blood does in us and through us. I was a wretch. I remember who I was. I was lost. I was blind, I was running out of time. Sin separated, the breach was far too wide. But from the far side of the chasm, you held me in your sight. And you made a way across the gray divide. Left behind heaven's throne to build it here inside. And there at the cross, you paid the debt I owed. Broke my chains, freed my soul. For the first time, I had hope. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life. You've brought me from the darkness into your glorious light. Mm. my place laid inside my tomb of sin you were buried for three days and then you walked right out again and now death has no sting and life has no end for i have been transformed by the blood of For the blood applied Thank you, Jesus 
it has washed me white thank you jesus you have saved my life you've brought me from the darkness into your glorious light mm -hmm. there is nothing greater than the wonder working power of the blood the blood that calls the sons and daughters we are ransomed by your father through the blood the blood there is none stronger than the wonder working power of the blood the blood that calls the sons and daughters we are ransomed through the power of the For the blood applied, thank you, Jesus. You have washed me white. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have saved my life. You've saved my life, and you have brought me from the darkness into your glorious light. So at this time, we're going to be singing our theme song, Worthy is the Lamb, Revelation song.
Let's pray on behalf of the orphan. Dear Father, we are thankful to be able to bring something back to you so that you can use it to the finishing of your work. Bless it and help it to go as far as you want it to go. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, people are on the island. Oh, yes. Good evening, everybody. Oh, yes. We are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Let me hear you say yes. If you are here to meet with the King of Kings, say yes. You are here for the revelation of Jesus Christ, say yes. Amen, 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 amen. Praise God. We are in the presence of a holy God and we are, we are happy. We are happy to be able to sit at his feet once more. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Tonight is another special night in this series as we, as we encounter Jesus Christ as he is revealed to us. And we pray that by the grace of God, as we, as we hear and see and feel him and experience him, that our lives would be transformed. Amen? Let me see all those in the house who feel blessed. Come on, you feel blessed. If you're blessed and you know it, say blessed. If you're blessed and you know it, say blessed. If you're blessed and you know it, say blessed. We are blessed because God said we are blessed. We are blessed, 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 blessed in Jesus' name. Praise God. All right. As we go to our affirmation, as we again agree on what we expect for God to do, what we expect to experience, uh, we know that God never disappoints. Amen? Yes, and so we want to affirm it. When you come to the island, we want to make sure that we are in agreement with what we're here to do. Let me shout out some of my friends. You know, they were, they were here Sabbath, and I think maybe I was, I was just too overjoyed that they were here on the island. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I didn't even shout them by name. You know, they are, they, they are my people. They're my peeps. You know, I, I call them Jesus celebrities. Yes, yes. You, know, you see, you had celebrities here and you, you, you don't even know. You see, that's how they move, huh? Yeah, that's how they move. Celebrities don't, you know. You, you, you know how it's done. You know how it's done. But we're happy tonight to have uh, their elder and his wife, uh, Sherwin, uh, Paul, and Rhonda Paul. Put your hands together for them in the house. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and I know most of you would have seen them on uh, the special uh, ministry. Why we believe. Why? You, you make sure this one, this song's good, you know. Tech. <laughs> And worse. Test, check, check. No, that one is still sweeter. You have to bring this one up to that, or, or I would take the dead battery. <laughs> Jesus, like he's doing something with that dead battery. It sounds better than this one. So, so, so get me, get me up to that one and, and keep me there for the night. I think tonight needs to begin uh, with a sip. Uh, the devil is playing around all over uh, he's playing around even here for me to you know I should have I should have uh, written the message on a scroll I would have been good you know I'm following you guys with uh, technology and um, so all right but, but we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead let me begin with a sip 
uh, because I, I, I believe that uh, tonight we need to rain fire down on the enemy. What do you say? We need to rain fire down on the enemy. Let's go with our affirmation and then we are going to pray. Everybody after three, two, three. Heavenly Father, we thank you for revealing Jesus Christ to us in these last days. We claim him as the true and the worthy lamb, crowned with glory and honor, reigns in dominion and power. Our allegiance is to who? It's to who? The Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus we come. Name above all names we come. We thank you tonight for this grand opportunity to sit at the feet of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Tonight we pray for the infilling of the Holy Spirit, not only in the preacher, but in every single person sitting at the feet of Jesus right now. Both in the house as well as online. God, do a thing. Speak to our hearts and may we respond favorably to you in saying, yes, Lord, we will choose you. Our allegiance is to the Lamb of God. Bless us this evening again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. You, you, you got this one song then? Good. You, you show the dead batch is revived? All right, well, let me make sure and test it. All right. All right. All right. One, one, one. One, one. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow, I'm following the wisdom, I'm following the wisdom of my tech, all right? Jonel, thank you very much. I'm, 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 I'm going to follow uh, his wisdom for what needs to happen here. All right, and he's going to, uh, you see, you see that, you see that? You know, he knows what he's doing, you know. You, you're trying nothing with me, you know. All right, all right, all right, praise God, praise God indeed. Let's go, let's go, people, let's go. This evening, our subject is entitled what? Jesus' love and sacrifice. And we are so thankful for uh, the songs that were uh, done for the evening, uh, revealing this very truth of the love and sacrifice that Jesus has made uh, for us as his children. Let's move forward. Uh, matter of fact, this evening, I, I endeavor to allow uh, the Word of God to speak. Uh, let the Word of God speak for itself. So, what, what, what we're going to do here pretty much is just walking through this text. We are looking this evening at, we are looking at uh, Revelation chapters 4 and 5. Revelations chapter 4 and 5 we are looking at as we, uh, as we get this message of the revelation, Jesus' love and sacrifice. All right, so let's go with the word. Let's go with the word. We are in Revelation chapter what? Four. And I want you, we're going to do this together. This is, this is, we are, we are, we are, we are going to preach this message this evening together. And one of the reasons for that is that this is too uh, cosmic of an issue. This is too all-inclusive of a reality to have one man going this. This is, this is too big an issue here this evening that we are dealing with. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, no, no. Are you ready? I tell you, when you come on the island, participate or I'll send you packing with your passport. 
Somebody said we had no passport. Uh, let me let me let me shout out my online uh, friends and and viewers. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being with us here so far this series. Uh, I I I got word of a special lady in Suriname uh, who is always uh, logged on and and following the series. Uh, Lisa uh, Nanku, uh, Lisa Nanku, God bless you very much for uh, being on board and being on course with this uh, this very special series that we are treating with here. All right, now you see how the the, the, the devil is playing the fool, and I'm not going to even study that device. Uh, let's 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 go, let's go with the word. After three, we are doing this together. Two, three. Somebody needs to uh, pray. I have a, uh, just so you know, uh, I know those in-house know. Uh, uh, those of you online, um, I'm, I'm telling you this. I'm, I'm, I'm not bashful for telling you this. I have a, a group of people right behind me here in a room praying their hearts out, calling on the name of Jesus Christ to defeat sin and Satan. Are you hearing me? Uh, because what we're doing here is a spiritual exercise. Uh, it's spiritual warfare, and the devil is not letting up. Uh, he has already come after the preacher thus far for the week uh, in more than one ways, but we are going to light fire on the devil. What do you say, Amen. We're going to light fire on the devil tonight. So keep a prayer in your heart uh, as we go through this. As we go through this. Uh, let's go. After this, we're doing it together. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a what? Trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee great things which must be hereafter. Uh, when God does a thing, you know, God has a way of calling us up higher. Amen. Uh, God doesn't leave us down in the gutters when he, when he ministers to us and when he treats with our life situation. When he comes to reveal himself to us, he brings us up to a higher plane. What do you say? Amen. And so he says, come up higher, there is something I want to show you. And he continued, immediately I was in the spirit. And so you know that what God is showing here is not just any concoction of man. Uh, John did not just put words uh, together like a madman. He was moving in the spirit of God. Amen. And tonight we want to do likewise. We want to follow this scripture under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I was in the spirit and behold a throne. A what? A throne. Follow the vision everybody. A throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. I want to declare to us this evening that there is a throne in heaven. I say there is a throne in heaven. That throne being in heaven means that it is high above every earthly throne. I don't care what king, president, prime minister, whomever sits on the thrones of this world there is a throne that is higher than every throne as a matter of fact there is a throne that is higher than every throne combined every other throne of humanity combined still cannot trump this throne of God and there is one who sat on it I'm thankful tonight that the throne in heaven is not empty the throne in heaven is not empty. God is still on the throne. You might be questioning some things in your life, but I want you to know that God is still on the throne. You might be persecuted and shaken down by the enemy, but God is still on the throne and may I remind you tonight that nobody no devil in hell can take God off his throne he's on the throne he's on the throne and he that sat 
was to look upon like a jasper. Come on, read with me, read with me, read with me. Don't spectate. When you, when you come all the way to the island, you, you leave home and you come here in your nice blue and, and all of that, participate uh, in the word of God. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. Uh, the vision continues. And round about the throne were what? Four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads what? Crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. This throne is, is a mighty throne. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. Which are the what? Seven spirits of God. I reminded us already so far in the series that this book with symbols, people online, this book with all these symbols, uh, they have explanation. You don't have to shut the book of Revelation because you think uh, your preacher has not been able to explain it to you or your church does not use it. Well, you know, there are some churches that read all, uh, uh, all over and they just don't go to revelation at all because they have no clue what it is saying lord have mercy but when you are led by the spirit of god i didn't hear somebody now i said when you are led by the spirit of god the spirit of god leads you into all truth jesus says and so here we have uh, these seven lamps of fire uh, we're told they are the seven spirits of God and you're going to see all sorts of seven across Revelation just as we see across the Bible it has well been acknowledged that seven is God's special number the number of perfection amen number of perfection and so before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion and the second beast was like a calf and the third beast had a face as a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Uh, we are not going to, as I said very early when we began in the series, uh, we don't have the time uh, to go into every single nitty gritty of the revelation. Uh, we are here to reveal one man. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about them and they were full of eyes within and watch this now people and they rest not day and night saying holy 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 lord god almighty musician don't fall asleep on me tonight tonight is a big one i uh, make sure that you have all kind of thing that that can sit tonight holy 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 give some volume to the musician for me please i say holy make that thing talk tonight holy holy i'm not hearing the congregation holy lord god almighty which was and is and is to come somebody say holy he's holy it doesn't matter what they say about him people are fighting all over the world about the color of his skin i don't care about his complexion ah he's too good for me to get bacchanal over the color of his skin he's holy he's holy lord god was is and is to come 
And when those beasts gave glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever. You hear that? I tell you, they can't throw God off the throne. And when you're serving God, there are some people who would make you feel as though, uh, well, 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 uh, too bad for you. But God is on the throne of your life. Once God is on the throne, he can still provide a way where there is no way. Is there anybody here who knows him to be a way maker tonight? Oh yes, he's still on the throne. Don't give up, don't throw in the towel because you have come to the end of a situation. Because you have come to a place in the, your, your challenge or your, your, your problem where it seems that there is just no way out for you. You can't see how you're going to get out of this. Uh, you might be flat out on the ground on your back, but God is not flat out on the ground. God is not on his back. God is on the throne. He's on the throne of the universe. He's on the throne of the universe. Now, if you get true to go to a president on their throne, you know, I, 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 my, 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 my daughter, one of my daughters had a school outing one day, you know, where you go on a tour and the outing a few years ago, the outing was to go to uh, the prime minister, the, sorry, the president's office, the president of TNT. Uh, uh, if 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 they lock me up when I go through the door, I'm talking the truth. <laughs> That's all we preach here. Uh, but, but 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 this is this is simple stuff. So my, my 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 daughter said, you know, when she came home, I mean, you would think that they would be all excited, you know, they would be all excited for the trip. They went, I mean, they went to the president, you know. Uh, I don't know, I've never been there, but maybe uh, the president has a big throne in the in the office in Port of Spain, where where the president sits and and you know administers and all of that. Uh, they came back and, and and she was very very dis you know disappointed. And so when we asked, she said, well, they got there and uh, when they came they, they stood outside and they were waiting there for quite some time and, and after waiting for a long time the uh, attendant came to them and, and then told them that the president would not be able to see them today and so they had to just you know leave and turn back and you know I explained that you know and, and, and logically as, as adults we can imagine that's how it would go sometimes the president based on uh, the president's role uh, that that particular day had a uh, bigger business to attend to uh, in the country and could not see some little uh, elementary school children. And then the, the concern was raised, my daughter and I imagine her other friends raised the concern that, you know, the president did not even if, you know, the, uh, uh, the president couldn't, you know, really entertain us, you know, in big in a big way the president didn't even come to the balcony and give us a little wave and you know uh, show us that well yes you know I appreciate you guys coming and all of that you know uh, but that's that that's how it goes with 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 kings and leaders uh, in the earthly realm because you see uh, uh, whether good or bad they may have some legitimate reason they can only be one place in one time uh, they may have all sorts of things that they have to see about uh, and so their throne has a certain priority or that you may very well get kicked out and not be able uh, to be attended to or even see the president. Uh, but when it comes to the God on the throne of the universe, uh, I, I, I'm not hearing the Christian people in the house. I said when it comes to the God on the throne of the universe, uh, who is keeping galaxies in orbit, uh, the one who is keeping planets from colliding, uh, the one who is keeping uh, the whether seven, eight, nine, or how much Ask Bill Gates billion people in the world and I'm not sure uh, the one who is keeping it all the one who is still balancing the ecosystem so that we are still breathing here on planet earth when it comes to the king on the throne of the universe he is available he is unmovable the king on the throne 
thankful tonight that we serve the king on the throne who's never too busy <laughs> ah, he never says he never says well you know Kishford, uh, 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 a gate a gate a, a bridge collapsed somewhere on the east east side of hallelujah square and so you you and your little peep squeak car that you have there giving trouble you could wait <laughs> because i have to attend to a bridge burning over hallelujah square <laughs> uh, he never says to the poor beggar man you can't get bread today because I have to deal with somebody else my God is able abundantly able all of your needs to supply and all we have to do is just call on him he's on the throne and he's on the throne forever he's on the throne forever uh, he, he, he can't be voted out I say he can't be voted out <laughs> and one of the reasons he cannot be voted out uh, is that he was never voted in uh, I say he was never voted in he is God all by himself he's God all by himself he lives on the throne forever and ever long before your little peep squeak problem came to you God was on the throne huh you think a little unemployment could move God he's on the throne praise God tonight are you happy that your God is still on the throne oh God is on the throne oh God is on the throne and so we continue we continue and the four and 20 elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying thou art worthy O Lord to receive glory and honor come on no man somebody help me I tell all you I alone can't do this it's too big thou art worthy Oh Lord, to receive glory and honor. Come, give, give one of these elders here a mic. Come, don't make them waste time. Give them a mic. Thou art worthy. Somebody say, worthy. Thou art worthy, oh Lord, to receive what? Glory and what? Honor and power. For thou hast created how many things? all things and for thy pleasure they were created uh, listen to me you were created for God's glory and pleasure your life has purpose that is bigger than just building a house you know some of us I mean getting a house is a good thing if you have an extra one you know talk to me You know, but some of us behave in this in this world where even the people with the biggest houses and the the, the best you know uh, security systems you know uh, there are people who undo these security systems and still leave them a pauper or or just one fire or just one natural disaster just one whatever destroys it and some of us are so caught up with the material things of this world that because up until now you find you're getting old and you don't have a house <laughs> Hmm. Mercy preacher. you feel as though you have failed in life since when as important as a house is since when getting one means that you're successful you know there are many people with houses who listen to me man they are so troubled in their spirits they have not yet found themselves uh, they open the house and they go into it and they wonder what am I doing here they open the house and they lie on their beds and they are wondering uh, really 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 uh, what's my purpose in life let me tell you your purpose is bigger than a brand name car Come your on. purpose is bigger than a big house preach it, your preach purpose it. is bigger than having extra land up in Komoto and Toko. Your purpose yes. is bigger than money. Yes. You are created yes. for the glory of the Almighty God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, preacher. You're created for a higher purpose than anything on planet Earth. Oh, yes. You're created for the glory of God. Amen. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book. 
Mm. We have crossed over into chapter 5. The vision says, Now John, after seeing God in all of his glory and his splendor, the God who created it all and created all for his glory. Uh, young man online, if your life is not giving glory to God, your life is a waste. If your life is not bringing glory to your creator, your life is a mess and a waste and of no value. But when your life is in the hand of God, then you get true purpose in him. Yes. True purpose is in him. And so as John sees the God who created it all and created it all for his glory, he says, I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book. Mm -hmm. mm. No, no, no. Something, something. There's a transition here. Something is. Something has caught John's eyes. There's a book in the hand of God. Yes. A book that is written within and on the backside, yes. sealed with, with seven, seven seals. seals. Here is that number again. I don't know how come with all the sevens in the Word of God, including the seventh day Sabbath that we've looked at already as the Lord's day, and we will see even a cross revelation i don't know how some people could see seven 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 all over and ah. be so blinded to still say the first have mercy you have to have bad mind and 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 deliberately close your eyes from all these seven in god's word god yes. will have seven everywhere else and now that he has seven on the day so he has seven seals he has seven trumpets he has seven this seven that seven and mm. everything else is seven but when it comes to the day where he also says seven you say uh-uh have mercy that seven wrong right over that seven that message came from the pit of hell are you hearing me yes came from the pit of hell Father and of before lies. the series is over we'll strike it down with even a greater force and so he has this book in his hand and i saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud Our voice God. he asked a question a question that I mean uh, just uh, 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 rivets across the universe. The question is asked: Who is, is worthy, worthy to open, open the, book. the book? Yes, and to loose the, the seals thereon. Who is worthy to open the book? Uh, we're told that the book in the hand of the creator is the book of life. Okay. Who is worthy to open the book? Now, if the book is not open, then it means the book of life is shut and All it right. is shut out from mankind All who right. needs eternal life. Okay, okay. And so the book is shut sealed with seven seals somebody needs to open this book for us to gain eternal life okay yes because at this point in the cosmic battle the devil has plunged man into doom and damnation mm -hmm. sin has passed through our system and yes. the bible says the wages of sin is dead death and so, because of that sin, we are now doomed to die. But the gift of God, the Bible says, is what? Eternal, eternal life. life. But that eternal life is in the book. Right. We need the book open. Preach it, preach it. We need the book open. And so the angel, the angel of God asks, well, who's going to open the book so that Pastor Frank can be saved? Who's going to open the book so the people of Maloney who do not know Jesus can know him and receive eternal life? Who is going to open the book? And then, boy, after the question is asked, oh, the vision continues. Yes. And the realization is made that no, no man, man in heaven, heaven nor, nor in earth, earth neither, neither under the earth, earth was, was able, able to open the, the book, book, neither to, to look, look there on. Lord mercy. God, have mercy. Mercy, preacher. The book of life is closed. <laughs> And 
there is nobody to open the book mm. see all of Maloney are yes. plummeting into chaos into the fires of damnation see all of planet earth broken and dejected and the devil is laughing while we sink deep 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 into nothingness because no man can be found boy when the thing is considered it brings pain it brings so much pain yes. john declares i wept yes that's the truth i wept because no man was found worthy to open and, and to, to read, read the, the book, book neither to, to look, look thereon no man was found listen to me no pastor was found yes. no bishop was found see it like it is no pope was found oh, yes. no president was found That's the truth. no emperor was found preacher, preacher. no church goer was found yes. no guy on the block was found Found. Mm. No billionaire was found mm. who can open the book. Have mercy. Nobody was found to open the book. And just imagine, you know, this is like, you know, we have the same crab in a barrel, you know, and nobody's helping anybody, and you're all just, mm. and everybody is in a mess. Yes. Boy, this is a cosmic level crab in the barrel. Mercy. Because, because we are we are all sinners, all of us human beings in need of eternal life and we are looking around at each other and we realize that no matter how good that one dress up they can't open the book right. we realize no matter how much money that one has yes. they can't open the book That's the truth. we realize how much education that one has mm. they can't open the book yes. this one went to ivy league university wow. and still can't open the book and we are all doomed because no man Man on no earth man. No man. could open the book in a mess but then one of the elders said unto me come on preacher one of the elders said unto me I feel I have to give the musician some of this to drink tonight you know yes <laughs> good island water yeah Yes. Good island. <laughs> Good island water. <laughs> While John weeps over the fact that all of humanity is lost. Ah. You see, you don't even have the full gravity of what's going on here because you are living post the experience. All right, all right. Uh, John is in vision and he realizes that there's nobody to open the book. And so we would all plummet into hell. We would all be lost eternally. And as John cries there on, on the man. Isle of Patmos, yes. an elder in the vision Come on. comes to John and says, weep not, my son. Praise the Lord. Weep not, my son. Tell us, Richard. I have good news. Uh -huh. Don't weep. There is good news. What he says. Behold. 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 The lion. The, the lion, Lord. Of the, the tribe. Come on. Of Judah. Of Judah. The root, root of, David of David. Had prevailed, prevailed to, to open, open the book. The book. And, and to, to loose the, the seven seals, seals thereof. thereof. Somebody say glory be Praise to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 He is worthy. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Mr. Technician, make sure this, put some, put some juice on this. You can turn it down from them. But bust my ears with it. Put some juice on this. Put some juice on this. Help me out. Help me out here. Tonight is fire on the enemy. Let me drink something. <laughs> the elder said, cool down. I'm drinking it to warm up. <laughs> As John cries, the elder says, John, you don't have to cry. Praise God. John, you don't have to cry. You. you are crying because you don't see the bigger picture. 
nature. All right. You are moping because you don't see the reality at the cosmic level. But John, you don't have to cry. Somebody has taken care of the issue. Somebody has taken care of the sin problem. Somebody has prevailed. Somebody has conquered Satan. Yes. Somebody has defeated the enemy. Yes, Somebody has devoured the foe. Yes. Somebody has broken the snare of the Make fowler. Clap, Somebody has prevailed. Come on. Somebody has triumphed yes. over sin and darkness. Yes. Somebody, his name Come on. is Jesus Praise the Christ. Lord. Praise the Lord. Magnify his name. The lion yes. of the tribe of Judah. Amen. The root of David. He has prevailed. Somebody say glory to God. Jesus glory has prevailed. God. Jesus, has, Jesus prevailed. has prevailed. Praise God. Oh, Jesus has prevailed. Amen. Oh boy. Good news tonight. Good news for somebody online. That somebody, a man was found to open the book. Ah, the lion. As a matter of fact, we know him even in other places as the conquering lion. Praise the Lord. Of the tribe yes. of Judah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has conquered the enemy. Yes. Listen to me. It's the same enemy who's wrestling with you now. Right. Not a different one. All right. And so let me remind you. Okay. The enemy who is trying to foul up your life. All right. He has been conquered. Praise the Lord. He has been defeated. Tongues. Jesus has prevailed. Yes. The lion of the tribe of Judah has won. The, the devil is defeated. Satan is defeated. Thank you, Jesus. Don't make him wrestle up with you and bring all kind of mess to you and make you watch the mess and wonder if you've lost. No, he has lost. Your Jesus has won. Your Jesus has prevailed. Oh, I'm so thankful tonight that Jesus prevailed. I'm thankful tonight that the blood prevails. Praise the Lord. Thank God the yes. blood prevails. Praise God. Praise God. Ah. And I beheld, and lo, as the elder said, that the lion of the tribe has, of Judah, root of David, has prevailed. Yes. I look and lo in the midst of the throne and of and the four beasts, beasts and in the midst of the elders, the elders stood a lamb. lamb. Oh man. Yes. I say stood a lamb. Yes. As it had uh, been, been slain. slain. Yes. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. You see, John sees the lamb as it has been slain yes. because really and truly the lamb is there yes. and it bores uh, the marks of the slaughter. Mm -hmm. It bears these marks on it uh, that it has been through some stuff. Right. The lion, this lamb, this lamb is there and the lamb has, has shown uh, the marks on the lamb that, that shows that this lamb has been slain. Slain, yet this lamb that has been slain is alive. Amen. Amen. John sees this lamb and, and this is the resurrected lamb and he has the scars in his hands to yes. show yes. that this lamb has been slain yes. and I told you that this has already been provided long before your problem. You see John is there in vision and he's crying because even John himself just like you didn't have a full understanding right. of the whole cosmic battle yes. but when you take a good look at it he realizes the lamb and he sees the mark of the slain lamb okay. and he remembers that this lamb was slain a long time ago oh, yes. from the very foundation, foundation. of the world praise the Lord What that means for me and you is that from the very foundation of the world, even before sin raised its ugly head, even before the enemy that's tormenting the people of God brought sin upon God's people, the Lamb has already made provision for you. Praise God. You know, it's like this. It's like you, 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 you're there and, and somebody wants to, you know, run a piece of evil on you. Hmm. you know attack you in some yes. way 
And by the time they get to execute, boy, you've already made a good stand and you're secure. That is what Jesus has done for us. Okay. When the enemy was rushing us, when the enemy was rushing us and sin plagued humanity and we were supposed to die and the enemy was ready to laugh and he looked at us as though, well, yes, they're at the very end of the line. What he didn't realize is that if he's seeing them as though they're at the end of the line, but he forgot that there is also somebody who is not only at the beginning of the line, right. who's also at the end of the line the because he's the beginning yes. and the end. Yes. And when you come to your end, God is still there. All right. The Lamb has already made provision for your last days. But the Lamb did not wait until it was water more than flour in the last days. Right. The Lamb made provision by laying down his life from yes. the very beginning of time. Yes, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world? Praise be to God. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Boy, nobody else could touch the book. Nobody could even watch on the book. Nobody could lose the seals. But look at Jesus. Look at the last day Jesus. Uh, John sees in vision that he, he goes over to him that sits on the throne. And he takes the book out of the right hand. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. And every one of them, harps and golden vials full of uh, orders, which are the prayers of the saints. Uh, listen, man, them elders and, 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 and everybody is now celebrating uh, that before the tears, John was crying. Uh, now there's a celebration because there is somebody who has taken the book. There's somebody working ready to open the book there is somebody who's now made provision for our eternal life praise the god and so they pull out harp they pull out everything they pull out pot spoon and bottle hmm. huh? they're celebrating yes they're celebrating you wonder why you wonder why? <laughs> listen to me when you when you're in Jesus and you're in church, it's a celebration, you know. All right. When you are saved and you understand what it is to be saved, yes. you can't be bo you know, there's no there's no such thing as a boring Christian, you know. Right. A boring Christian is a is a is a paradox, a conundrum, is a lie. Hmm. A boring Christian is, is somebody who the devil has bamboozled and, and, and mess up with their minds. They're going by the name, <laughs> but somehow they feel as though they are not so sure that the blood of Christ has saved them all from right. all the wretchedness in their lives okay. but when you understand the power of the blood yeah, when you understand the power of the lamb yes. slain from the power. foundation of the world yes. there's no devil in hell who will make you no matter what sin he has painted you with he can paint you sin by name the lamb of god has taken away the sin of the world yes amen and when you understand that and you come in the presence of God, listen to me, man. You come with rejoicing. Amen. You come with a hallelujah yes. in your heart. Praise the Lord. Because you realize, listen, nobody could have opened the book, but now <laughs> I am saved yes. because the Lamb has prevailed. Praise the Lord. The Lamb has prevailed. And they sung a, a new, new song. song. Amen. Huh? Song a new song. I tell you, they pull out, they pull out instrument, they pull out all kind of things. Huh? They're making noise, make noise, make noise, make noise. Show them how to make noise. Make noise. Yeah, make noise. Yeah. Listen to me. When 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 you're seeing this kind of victory, you can't, you can't. You, you, you have to not understand the victory to remain silent. You have to not understand the victory to, to come to church and, and play and play Caucasian. Have mercy. When you understand the victory, listen to me, man. Nobody can tell you sit down in church. 
Sit down. Tell me that now. <laughs> I hit you with my Bible and all. <laughs> one, one blow with my Bible. Tell me sit down. You, you know where God brought me from? <laughs> uh, you know the kind of mess Jesus saved me from? Uh, you, know, you know where I would have been had it not been for the blood? All right. You tell me, sit up. You know, I just, I, I, I usually meet all kinds of, what I call, I have to call them trumpet fellas. You know, I meet all kinds of fellas who have a little whiskey in the head. You know, and, 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 and all kinds of nonsense in their mind. And they're rejoicing on the street and carrying on. Emptiness, as soon as it wear off, they wonder, um, <laughs> what, what I was dancing for again? <laughs> but when we dance, when we celebrate, when we rejoice, when we sing, it's because the Lamb has overcome right. and has prevailed. Praise the Lord. And given us a name and a song. Yes. You have reasons to celebrate. You have reasons to celebrate. Stop coming church on Sabbath. You, you, with, with, your, with your mouth long, 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 long. People can't even pass. <laughs> you know, some of us Adventists, we, we uh, you know, we don't eat pork, but we have snout. One more long, 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 long also. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus, man. Celebrate the goodness of God. Don't make the devil tie you down. And so John says, the song, a new song. Watch this song, watch this song. Saying, thou art, let me hear your church, thou art worthy, worthy to take the book. Oh gosh, boy. Listen to me, I want to learn this song bad, you know. Sing it, man. That is our... That's our song. Thou art worthy to take the, the book. book. You, you, know, you, you don't know what it is for nobody to be able to take the book. The man who takes the book deserves every praise and honor. Amen. It was Amen. Me. Yes. You know, I remember as a little boy, we had a, you know, growing up, uh, there was a parlor. I was there and, and there was a, a rum drinker who was you know they're drinking their rum and you know with water and thing and all of that and and and, and in those days you know uh, people used to use out in the countryside people would use um the, the they would reuse um probably like any bottle they they, they, they they find or they're using at home so 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 uh there are times when people would even reuse uh bleach bottles you know, they wash that out and they use it. And, and the guy was drinking his rum and, and they had water in a bleach bottle. And that particular time, the, there was a bleach bottle there that was not water. Lord, was have bleach. Mercy. Have mercy. And he was about to drink the bleach with his rum. Now, I, don't ask me what that would have done to him. I don't know. Cleanse but he was about to drink it. When I, knowing that that bottle has bleach, he probably was drunk already. I stopped him from drinking the bleach. And because I stopped him, boy, listen to me. For years, that man would just praise me, praise me anywhere he met me. It's as though I saved his life from sin. All right, all right. The man would praise me. He's talking to his other buddy. He's drinking rum. And he's pointing, them, pointing me out. Did that, that boy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they're talking, talking. He's praising me for saving him from just drinking some bleach. All right, all right. How much more? Come on. Jesus Christ. Yes. Who died on Calvary. Yes. Come on, come on, preacher. To save you. Yes. Not from bleach but from the sin sick problem of satan yes so that he can actually make you whiter than bleach can make you true how much more does he deserve the glory and the honor and the praise from us 
They sing this song, man. You're worthy to open the book, to open the seals. For thou was slain and has redeemed Redeem us, us to God, God by thy blood. Blood by thy blood. blood. Hallelujah. Tonight we've been redeemed by thy blood. blood. Yes. The Bible tells us we've not been redeemed with no silver mm -hmm. and gold. All right. We've not even been redeemed. We've not even been redeemed by the blood of goats and all of that. Huh. We've been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Oh, are you happy for your redemption in Jesus? Yes. Are you thankful for your redemption yes, in preacher. Jesus? Somebody say thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank, thank you for you the for blood. blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you. I'm redeemed because of the blood. Yes. Redemption is ours through the blood and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them were 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands they are there in this, this mighty throne and they are declaring glory and honor unto our Lord saying with a loud voice help me preacher worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power amen and riches come on and wisdom and wisdom and strength and strength and honor and honor and glory and glory and blessing praise the lord praise the lord worthy yes is the lamb yes he is he's worthy tonight yes i say he's worthy tonight yes He's worthy of every bit of praise that you can give him. Praise the and Lord. when you feel that you have praised him this much, praise him some more. Praise him some and more. And when you get tired of praising him, start to praise him all over again. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Yes. Praise him. This lamb that was slain, oh, we owe him our very lives mm. to receive power and riches, wisdom, strength honor glory and boy listen it's as though john is as though john just stopped there because he just can't find no more words true yes it's as though john john must be, john is saying to himself you know as he actually says elsewhere he says uh, listen if i were to write all the things <laughs> not even all the books in the world yeah could hold it all right if John continued here, we'll still be calling words in the, in the vocabulary. Yes. That's due to the lamb that was slain. Oh man, he's worthy tonight. He's worthy tonight. Do you know him as worthy? Yes. Do you count him as worthy? Yes. Is he worthy of your all? Yes. Is he worthy of your everything? Yes. Are you thankful for him tonight? Yes. If you're thankful for him tonight, let's sing this song because he's just that worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Let's sing with meaning because he's worthy. Choristers, help me pull a mic. I told you all, you all preaching tonight. <laughs> Let me drink something before you leave me on the way. Tech. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame. With love, in love you came. Oh yes, and give. Somebody thank him tonight. Say thank you for this love, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for the nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Oh, now all I know. Oh, your forgiveness and sing, church.
the treasure, the treasure, the treasure. Do that. We have to do that. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. Mm-hmm. Say thank you for the cross. Come on, if you're thankful for the cross, come on, step to your feet. Step to your feet. Thank you for the price. You oh, we thank you tonight, bearing all. Shout it out, shout it tonight, say worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You're seated on the throne. We crown you now with many This is too sweet. One last time, one last time, one last time. No, no, no. All right, let's go, let's go. Well, yeah, yeah, see Jesus, you're everything. Jesus, I'm God. The treasure of heaven. Worthy is the is the Yes, 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 yes. Come on, give him some praise. Come on, give him some praise. Is he worthy? Is he worthy? Give him some praise tonight. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the lamb. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do our, our points. We're going to close right here. Let's do our three points. Three points. Revealing Jesus Christ in the passage. Point number one. Jesus is the sacrificial lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Amen. 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 Praise God tonight. You don't have to go running, knocking on anybody's door about your sins. The lamb has been slain. Oh, praise God. Number two, Jesus is the worthy redeemer who purchased our salvation with his precious blood. Somebody say his blood is precious. His blood is precious. You've not been redeemed with silver or gold. Don't make the money of this world take your soul. You've been redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You are worth so much more than this world. Point number three, 
Jesus is the exalted King, amen. He reigns with authority, power over all creation. Glory be to God tonight. You know, the vision ends. The vision ends with the verse here where John says, They worship the Lamb, and the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worship him that liveth for ever and ever when we get to heaven we will worship the lamb jesus christ forever nobody would stop your praise nobody would stop your worship nobody telling you don't clap nobody telling you you can't sing chorus nobody telling you your hymns too old nobody confusing your worship we would be in the presence of the lamb Amen. it's one thing for john to reveal him to us it's another thing to be in his very presence tonight you can make a decision that would be sealed for all eternity to be in the presence of the lamb all those who want to be in the presence of the lamb you've read about him enough you want to go home to see him in his face you want to see him praise God tonight we're gonna to pray a prayer of commitment God would help us that we would behold the lamb one of these days in his true glory father God tonight we're thankful that you are still on the throne and we're thankful that you can never ever be removed from the throne you know sometimes even the the, the language can be funny to speak about the fact that you're still on the throne uh, might have a connotation that we might expect or it's possible that you can be removed but we're just thankful that you're still there the reality is God the throne can only be uh, 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 fulfilled and 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 and, and be, be, be be used and and occupied by the one who alone can sit on the throne we're thankful that you're on the throne tonight what you really want is not just to be on the throne of the universe we can't stop that that is just so but tonight you want to be on the throne of our hearts and so we are inviting you in again we are welcoming you again to take your rightful place on this throne we want this to be your throne and God we're thankful that uh, although sin broke us and marred your image in us and we were doomed for damnation we're thankful that someone was found to open the book of life Amen. we're thankful for your son Jesus Christ we're thankful for the lamb slain from the foundation of the world so that even in 2024 we can still have salvation in Christ tonight we praise the Lamb of God and we are asking God that you would help each of us here and those viewing online that indeed God that we will see the face of Jesus Christ we have preached about the Lamb. We have read about the Lamb. We have heard John's testimony of the Lamb. Oh God, we've sung about the Lamb. We want to see the Lamb. And we're not going to stop worshipping the Lamb until we see the Lamb. When we will change the worship from this sin mad, half baked, half done, half cooked worship that we give to you down here. We want to give you the real thing, God. We want to see the face of the Lamb. Keep us faithful that we will see the face of the Lamb and worship Him forever and ever and ever and ever. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
as we depart, we will stand and sing our closing song, song number 338, Redeemed How I Love to Proclaim It. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus, for this blood. Redeem. Let's go. Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem through His infinite mercy, His child and forever I am. Oh, yeah. Soon and very soon, we are 